Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia and we are going to be checking in for week two of November. I already have all of my expenses written down. We have a bunch of bills that came out. It's gonna be a lot of funds for this week that we're going to be discussing. For week two for us, it's going to be from the 12th to the 18th of November. The planner that I have here is an Erin Condren monthly planner. This is in the seven by nine design. I'm gonna be talking about the apps that we use to help us budget since we are electronic budgeters. We don't use cash for anything and it's just helpful for us to use the apps on our phones since we always have our phone with us. But real quick to talk about the spreads, this is our November monthly budget spread and then we also have our savings tracker for our external long-term savings account with our broken down categories. We have our dashboard set up with you guys as well along with our variable income, November budget, weekly check-in, weekly balance, and we're going to be using both of these spreads in this video, Sinky Funds transaction log, and then we will be putting our debt payment on this spread or on this sheet right here. I decided to do the November debt later in the month. The main reason why is because my husband's payment for those debts don't go out until the 28th, I believe. And it's rather late, so I wanted to have a reflection of it after the payment comes out for the numbers. My husband's going to try calling to see if he can change the due date to the middle of the month or a little bit earlier in the month, just so we don't have to wait so long and more of that money goes towards principal earlier in the month. I don't know if it really makes a difference or not, but it would just be easier for our budget so I can do those videos sooner rather than later. We're going to have to see how long that's going to take since he is with NoNet and NoNet's waiting times are extremely long at the moment even when he requests for callbacks he has not been able to get a callback so we'll just have to see how it goes but for right now we're going to do those videos after that payment comes out but meanwhile let's talk about our week two check-in and i have my expenses here but before i do let me show you guys the app that i like to use so the app that i like to use there's two of them the third one that i'm playing with right now that i'm going to set up with you guys all right after this week for the remaining of the month for daily budget this is like the primary one that we like to use. There's different features for these apps and different ways to use them, but this is just how I like to use them to help us budget from month to month. But I like to just use this kind of just like a transaction log for me to put in the week by weeks from sinky funds, bills, and all the different categories. So for example, when we spend funds, I'll click the little minus button, and then you can customize your different icons. So I have one for eating out, then for groceries, for gas allowance, pups and bean, I put these little blue little diamonds in front of them to symbolize my daily categories or daily expenses. These are the ones that we set up month by month and they're considered like our cash envelopes per se. Then I have one for unbudgeted with a little red little diamond. Then we have our sinking funds in here. I don't know if you guys can see, it's a little black square. I have dark mode on so I don't know if you can tell. And then I also have one for bills. So if you guys know, I have different categories for the daily bills and seeking funds and, and this just really helps us stay organized versus going through like our bank statements or something and trying to find them. After we spend something, we'll go ahead and click on whatever the item is. We'll put in like what it was, like $10 for example, and then we'll put like the date. Usually it's the same day that I, I enter these and then I'll put a description for where we ate out or what the little notes is that I also want to put on the label. But once we're here, I'll put test. But once it's done, I'll click on save and it automatically deducts. So, so far for the month, you guys can see that we've already spent 4,700, including for bills. Our mortgage alone is like 22, 2300 of this. But we'll talk about that in a second since that came out. I'm going to delete this because I don't want it to mess with our thing. But this is kind of how it looks like. So every single day, when we go through, we'll be able to see the little icons for eating out, groceries, um, for for bills, for our little home. These are just the icons that we like to set up for me that makes sense to me to set up for whichever amounts that came out. But that's what I'm going to be grabbing our expenses from. That is the primary app that we like to use. So it is called the Daily Budget. And then there is the Multi Budget that is still not available in 
the US for whatever reason. I'm hoping that the developer will eventually put this back over here because I really do like the simplicity of using this app. But since I only have a five categories that I like to use from month to month as cash envelopes, this is kind of the easiest and the most simplified app that I've found so far that I, I can keep track of each individual envelope to see how negative we are or how much we have left for the remaining of the month. There's another app that I like to use called Tracky that I've been playing with. This is the one that I'm going to set up with you guys today. I, As you guys can see, I already kind of put in the numbers here for groceries. Okay, I have to flip these two, but eating out should be 300, groceries should be 400 gas 150 allowance pups baby both are 75 in each one and we'll do this together we'll fill this in together once we're done all right so let's go ahead and track and see how much we spent so for example for the 12 we're going to scroll to the 12 we have quite the pit of stuff here so the first one is from eating out that's from bakehouse eating out is our little blue category so this is our little blue category expense and bakehouse it's so good. It's basically just like really fancy croissants. There's all these different flavors. All, like they have the seasonal ones, like this pumpkin spice one. They have this pecan caramel one for the season. It's so good, but they are rather expensive. But it's just a holiday treat for ourselves. We got this more than once this week. We'll talk about that in a second. But that was sixty seven dollars. We tried a whole bunch of different flavors this day. Next, we also ended up refilling on Starbucks. Instead of taking it out for a food category because we were so negative, we ended up taking it out of our allowance categories. So that's the little shopping bags. I have two expenses from there. One of them is from Starbucks. We did refill for $20. Starbucks is this cream category. So for Starbucks, that was $20 refilled. And you guys might hear the baby monitor in the background. Our baby has been stirring a little bit. It is currently her nap time. So I'm just keeping an eye on her. Besides that, we also have TJ Maxx. We got TJ Maxx. What do we get from TJ Maxx? I believe we got some stuff for the pups and for our baby. But another thing that we got from there was some pups toys. This is our pink little category, which is for our pups and our beans category. So I believe for both of these, it was from the same place. And I'm assuming we got some toys for our pups, and then we also got some toys for our baby. We've been going to TJ Maxx quite the bit this month as well. But that is all of those daily expenses. So you guys will see we have some sinking funds. Sinking funds, I guess, let's talk about these two first, and then we'll talk about the rest of them later. But for sinking funds, we did have a baby expense for shoes, clothes, toys for $117 from our baby category. Car insurance also came out, which was $462. I like to round it up because I don't like dealing with cents in our sinking funds, but that is how much that was. And since we're here, we also had a medical expense, which was $38 for a glucose test. Since I am pregnant, I ended up having to take like a glucose test because the blood sample that i drew um it ended up being high or something so they wanted me to take this test next is for holiday holiday we spent 74 dollars for some thanksgiving food we did grocery shop and then we had another baby expense 45 dollars for her diapers we picked up another size three diapers i've been waiting for them to go on sale but they just haven't been we ended up trying the kirkland brand so we'll see how that goes on the 13th, we didn't spend anything, and then on the 14th, we did have one bill, which was for our student loans, or well, it was for my student loans, and that was $157.71, which is actually less than last month, and I think it's because we paid off another one of the, the loans, but that was on the 14th. On the 15th, we also had a gas bill that came out, which was $36.65. And we had two other expenses. One of them was for actual gas for our car, which was refilled and that was $28. And then we also had a grocery expense for $54 from Wegmans. And we ended up going back for some remaining things like potatoes. We could not find potatoes our first trip around for Thanksgiving food. And then we ended up getting all the potatoes and then some more milk and we ended up getting a pumpkin pie but things like that i could take it out of our holiday but i decided to just take it out of our grocery accounts but that was 54. 
Then for Thursday, we had another bill come out, which was for HBO Max. And HBO Max was $16.95. We also had a Chipotle expense, which was $10. Chipotle is such an easy dinner, and it's so much food as well. Oh no, there's a couple more things for this day. One of them was from Costco, and then we also had our last baby expense. For Costco, we spent $133. This was for... A restock of a bunch of different things we ended up getting more like we ended up getting more ketchup we got some more frozen goods we got a bunch of fruits as well it, i can't i don't exactly remember what exactly we got from here but we did end up stocking on a bunch of stuff and it's so easy to spend so much money at costco but we also ended up going to tj maxx to pick up a um what, is, what are they called a squishmallow I think they're called but we got a squishmallow for a baby and that was 14 dollars as well. it was this cute little rudolph one next week on the 17th we had two bills that came out for this day for our two bills we had our electricity that came out along with our mortgage our mortgage is our our big one over here it's been increasing every single year so far because of property taxes I guess it's like a good thing, but <laughs> technically a bad thing at the same time. But mortgage and electric, and our electric came out. Electric was one hundred and two seventy. Mortgage is twenty three seventeen sixty six. And then last but not least, on the eighteenth, we had two of our last expenses. One of them was for bake house. We did get bake house again. We only got certain ones. We got more of the pumpkin spice like croissant muffin type situations we got like three of them um two of them uh, they were deformed or something so we got lucky and they ended up just giving it to us and then we also got some of the caramel pumpkin or caramel pecan bear claws and then the last thing is that we did end up pulling from our savings challenge for from our grocery account that was $30 that we ended up doing from our savings challenge. I think I like doing it on the video with you guys. So we're going to do the savings challenge again for week three. And we're just going to do that together right after we're done checking in everything. But that is all of our expenses for this month so far. Now let's put down our non spent. Our non spent is just to symbolize days that we did not spend anything. And it looks like we only had one for this month so far. Or one for this week so far. Alrighty, so I took a break to eat something because I was I felt like I was getting a little cranky. But where did we leave off? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and check in for a weekly or not our weekly. Yes, our weekly, our weekly check-in for our daily expenses. I wrote down all the categories we're checking in for, which is eating out, groceries, gas, allowance, pups and bean. I don't roll over, so I marked a little dash in them. These are the categories we're currently checking in for. This is what pertains to our little daily account categories. And this is also what we check in for the month as well. Um, it's just for us, this is just what I like to view and track in here. I could put like sinking funds and stuff in here too, but I just decided to just only have our primary accounts that we spend from day in and day out along with bills. Bills was something that I started putting in here. I used to not put bills in here, but because I didn't budget for quite some time. I wanted to start tracking bills. I might go back to not putting bills in here. I'm not sure, but we'll just have to see. Um, but for right now, I'm enjoying it. I feel like my allergies have been acting up so much today as well. But anyway, okay, so let's go ahead and we'll just go straight through the line because I feel like we spent from every category this week. Eating out is blue. First one is bake house. That was $67 plus. $10 for Chipotle plus Big House for another $20. That is $97 in total that we spent. So we're going to put $97 in here. Next, we spent from our groceries. Groceries is this peachy nudie color. For groceries, it looks like we only have one from this side, which was $54. $54 plus. Costco for 133 and then we have our savings challenge that we also took another $30 out of that is $217 that we spent for this week from groceries next we 
Next, we have gas. Gas, we refilled once. That was $28. Looks like no other times that we refilled that week either. So 28. Then we have our allowance. Allowance is this cream color. Looks like the only cream colors we have is on this side for $25 and $20. That is a total of $45 that we spent from allowance. And then last but not least, our two little pink categories left. So we have $20 here we spent for Pups Toys, nothing else. And then this last one is this little $14 that we spent. So in total, that was $34 that we spent from that category. Those are all the expenses tracked in. The only ones we did not track in yet are bills, but we definitely will get to that. Alrighty, that is quite the bit that we spent this this week so let's go through and see how much so for eating out in total we only have one dollar remaining then for groceries we had 250 dollars the previous week that minus the 217 that we spent this week is a remaining of 33 dollars then we had gas for 128 we spent 28 that means we have 100 dollars left over for gas, for allowance, we had $75. That minus the $45 means we still have $30 for allowance. And then for pups and bean, we had $75 as well. That minus $34 that we spent, we still have $41 remaining for that category. So these are all the data daily categories checked in. Now, next thing we're going to do is let's actually do the app first so I don't forget about doing the app. So I really do want to set up the app with you guys and show you guys since I don't really get to do that often. So for the app, let's go ahead and use Tracky. Normally, as the weeks go on, as we spend from them, I would be deducting each amount. But since we're already here, <laughs> we're still behind on week two, I'm really just going to catch up the apps to reflect the same amount. So can I edit this? Edit envelope. We're going to be doing, this one is actually 300 for eating out. And then groceries edit envelope is actually supposed to be 400. I did end up paying for the full version of this, which was I believe um, $5, but it gives you like endless amounts of uh, transactions and expenses and everything too. I just wanted to try this out because I'm, I'm really trying to find something to substitute the multi-budget app that I used to use. But for eating out, we only have $1 left. So I'm going to go ahead and just put the full expense of like $2.99 in here. And for the expense name, we'll just put correction, I guess. Um, so we have $1 left, so that bar went all the way down. There's only $1 left in here. And then for groceries, we only have $33 in here as well. That means I'm gonna go ahead and put $3.77 in here to correct that. <clears throat> So when you have $23 remaining, oh, hold on. I did math wrong, it's actually supposed to be 67. Okay, so now we have $33 remaining and you guys can see there's a little tiny little bit left for gas. Looks like we have 100 left over, which means 50 was spent. So do paste. And if you guys can see, like I'm only gonna go based off of each category, the amount. You guys can see that like for each one you guys put in, you guys can always change the icon in the color as well a little car but you guys can also do that too but since like there's no currently there's no like overview to be able to see all the transactions that went out through the month you kind of have to go into each category to see this is not really the most convenient for me because i don't like having to go into each one i like it where for the daily you guys can just go straight in and see everything that was spent from all different types of categories that certain day but this is literally only for me to kind of have a visual of how much we have left in each category as we spend money. So that's kind of why I like to use this. Of course, these are just apps that I personally like to use because it's helpful to me, but definitely um, whatever works for you guys as well. I just like to share it with you guys in case some of you guys think that this is helpful. Pups and Bean, we only have $41 left over, so that's 34 and I'll just put correction as well, paste, and then now everything is up to date. So $1, $3, $3 left, 130 41 
as I spend for the rest of the month, I can pop into here and be like, how much is left? I'm like, wow, okay, <laughs> we don't have that much left or we do have a quite a bit left. So it kind of just depends. Some months I don't even set up that app and that's how I end up going into negative so often. But having that app set up so I can have a visual as I spend money, it definitely does help to stay on budget before my weekly check-ins. But that's the app set up. Now let's go ahead and check out and balance out our our checking account. I just realized I was leaning on this for so long. I guess now I have these little indents. We have our three categories and these are the three categories that I like to track in here. These are all housed in one checking account. Um, I still have funds wrong but that's fine. I'm just gonna leave it. So 626 is what we ended last week with. We have 290556 for bills. A bunch of bills came out. And then 2161 for sinking funds. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and talk about our first category, which are these subcategories. I definitely love to break down my different categories. So we have 217 plus 97 plus 28 plus 45 plus 34. The total is $421 that we've spent for this week from our daily categories. Next is for bills. We had so many bills come out, so let's go ahead and go through that. For student loans is 157.71. Student loans, 157.71, which is nice. That's one bill. Gas was 36.65. No more bills or expenses on this side. Now moving on to this side, we have HBO Max that came out. So student loans, gas, HBO Max that came out $16.95. Mortgage is $23.17.66. So we're definitely going to be negative for that. And the electric was $102.70. So it looks like the only bills I have that are left to come out is Spotify, Internet, and our my husband's student loans. But everything else is now accounted for, so we no longer need our monthly view anymore. But now let's add up all of our bills that came out. Mortgage is $23.17.66 plus gas $36.65 plus $102.70. And then we're going to add $157.71. So those are those four. And then also HBO. So the total that came out for all of our bills is going to be $2,600. $31.67 that came out for bills for this week. And last but not least is for sinking funds. So we had quite the bit that came out for sinking funds as well. So for sinking funds, we had 117 plus our car insurance for 62, 38, 74, 45. And that in total equals 736 that came out for all of our sinking funds for this week as well. Alrighty, so we are looking good. Now to do the final calculations for our daily, we, we started with 626, that minus the 421 equals a remaining amount of 205. Then we have for bills, we started with 290556, that minus 263167 equals the remaining of 273.89 to cover the rest of our bills. And then for sinking funds, minus 3.736, we still have 100 and, not 100, $1,425 for the rest of our sinking funds as well. Now, last but not least is the transfers and the final calculation, and then we will be done. I filmed this video in like three different parts, so I have no idea how long this video is going to be. But let me give you guys the updated numbers real quick. I'm just going to check our accounts. Alrighty, so our savings account, this is still the same amount. We did not get another paycheck or anything yet. So this is still how much is in our short-term savings. And if you guys are curious about how our short-term savings, long-term savings, our savings accounts, checking accounts in general are hooked up and how we got them set up, I will have videos linked below going into details about them. So I don't talk your ear off in this video. But now to do transfers real quick. Since we try to pay with our credit card for absolutely everything that we possibly can, we're going to have to do some transfers so we can pay our credit card. The first things first is from our daily category, that 427. We definitely used 
or 421 we definitely use our credit card for everything so that we for sure have to transfer since we owe our credit card and same with sinking funds our car insurance also came out of our credit card so everything comes out of there and the main reason why is because we do get cash rewards back and everything so if we're going to be paying a bill or paying things we might as well just reap the rewards as much as possible but in total that is a thousand one hundred and fifty seven dollars that we'll be transferring from our second account our second checking that holds all three of these categories in here to our primary since this is the account we use for all outgoing funds thanksgiving is coming up so like for example if we end up making a payment like that day or something and it takes like over the week for like four days five days however long it takes it's no biggie since i don't pay attention to the funds in here since i know it's going to go pay for something and then last but not least, now that we've talked about daily and sinking funds, we do also have to transfer for bills, the ones that are paid out of credit card. Mortgage came out of our checking account already, so it already that institution already took the money out of there, so that one's good. For gas, this is paid with our credit card. That's why I write the C next to them. If I could have all of the accounts hooked up to credit cards, I would, but a lot of institutions charge you in like some type of fee in order to hook up a credit card. But for gas, since this came out of credit cards, we also have to transfer this. So that is 36.65. And then, so these two are good. Electric came out of our checking account, so we don't have to transfer. Student loans also came out of the checking account already. Last but not least is HBO. HBO came out of credit cards, so we still owe our credit card. That is $16.95. So in total, we have to transfer $1,210.60 over to this account to pay for our credit card. And I'm most likely going to be paying it for it today because we have such a high balance on there right now because I've been so behind with our weekly check-ins. Okay, so we are looking good now to talk about how much is actually in this account currently. All right, so in this account currently, we have... $1,903.89. So let's just make sure that balances correctly. That old number is no longer accurate. Okay, so let us double check. We have 205 remaining, 273.89 remaining, 1425 remaining, and 1903. Okay, perfect. So this matches perfectly, which is always great i love when things match <laughs> whenever it doesn't match i have to go on a duck hunt to figure out what happened or what where i made the mistake but this matches perfectly so this is how much is in our short-term savings until we get our last paycheck along with this is how much is in our checking account until bills come out or when we do more transfers but i always update you guys when i do these weekly check-ins about how the numbers change so you guys can see it even though i i don't show like my actual bank electronically because i'm always so fearful of sharing over sharing by accident but 56 92 56 this is how much we had left last week when we checked in that minus the 421 that we spent minus 26 31 67 for bills minus 736 equals that amount too so we are looking fabulous so that is actually going to be it for this weekly check-in. Everything is looking good. And that is going to be it for this video. <laughs> Thank you guys so much as always for tuning in. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I do have to finish. I'm probably going to pop these nails off so I can finish printing and cutting for 2024's new releases. I'm so excited to get those out because I really do want to finish it today so I can film the video today and get the video up tomorrow along with the weekly check-in. I just have a bunch of videos and things to do, but regardless, thank you guys so much as always for tuning in. Have a beautiful day. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. If this is after, I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye.